You look like somebody that wants to win something today. Am I reading the room right? Well, you picked the right day to find me, honey, because I am giving away a mega prize at the end of this video, so be sure to watch all the way through so you don't miss any of the details for entry. $200 worth of Timu's most popular, best-selling items. I want to get my hands on them and see what the tea is. A lot of designer dupes. Something smells a little fish heavy in here. I am very intrigued. Here we go, we have a lot. I'm seeing a lot. I'm seeing items. I'm seeing goodies. And I'm not talking about my goodies. This is what we're working with. Let's put this gigantic sack to the side and just start pulling things out. I have been seeing these things everywhere lately. I'll be honest with you guys, I think these kind of look like those peanut candy things that you can get from the gas station. They look like Nutter Butters, but they were very highly reviewed. <laughs> they look like they just got stung by a bee and are contracting hives. They're squishy little shoes. They've got the like croc sport mode ankle strap in the back, which I like. Drop that bitch into sport. It smells like AutoZone meets the dentist's office. Smell just gave me PTSD. Oh my God. I don't know how well the bottoms of these shoes are going to hold up if you walk around outside a lot. So I might wear these inside as house shoes because I don't like the bottoms of my feet to touch hardwood floor. They are very soft and they feel like they would be really comfy. A croc dupe, something affiliated with crocs. I got the biggest possible pack of assorted what what are, what are these things called um giblets mcribs mcriblets that people stick onto their crocs i don't have crocs but i do have several family members that stan crocs so i figured i mean i get the biggest pack right i can give a bunch of these to my family and then i do want to keep some for myself put some of these little gibbet things onto these shoes and wear them around and i thought it looked so cute so definitely like a dupe for crocs right look how many of these things come in one pack an insane amount of these things there's a hundred pieces in here and they're all random already on the top of the <laughs> oh no I see a 421 straight to the trash Rick and Morty Sonic I have already seen Sanrio which is the reason why I bought them I want to keep the Sanrio ones for myself I'll probably keep some of the Rick and Morty ones for myself then they have like some Disney characters in there and then cute quotes I see a Pokemon <gasps> I see Harry Potter there is a little tiny Harry Potter in here a bunch of just really cool like random characters and stuff oh my god I see a penis there's a penis are you good? There's a Sprite bottle, some type of like broccoli monster. I mean, there's all types of things. I think I even might see some Sesame Street. A Louis Vuitton dupe? She's coming for everybody's like well-established brand, which is scary. I think it just looks really trendy and chic. I actually really like it. I really like the size. I actually really like the material. It doesn't even really feel that cheap. Look at all of the slots that are in there. So it's definitely like a little card holder specifically. Throw your credit cards in there, debit cards, black card. <laughs> Throw your V-card in there if you're at that point in life where you feel comfortable. I like the gold hardware on it. Like I said, looks very chic and trendy. I really like that. I actually think I'm gonna start using this immediately. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. This video is sponsored by Timu. If you didn't already know, Timu is a shopping app, more specifically, an online marketplace currently offering the most competitive prices out there. There are site-wide sales with tons of fun interactive games and coupons where you can get up to 90% off. They offer free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days after your order. So if you buy something, have some buyer's remorse. No need to worry, honey. You have 90 days to decide if that is something that you want to keep in your closet. They accept all major credit and debit cards, electronic payments, and even Afterpay or Klarna. If you like what you see in this video, you can shop my exclusive influencer picks down in the description box below to get an extra 30% off of your order. And don't forget to use my exclusive code, get your additional coin off, because that coin, it stacks up. It really, really, 
It really does. Let's get right back into the haul. We have another bag item, another purse. This looks to be another Louis Vuitton dupe. <laughs> so here we have a little mini backpack strap on the top so you can just hold it like that in your hand. There's a little pouch in the front here. There's another strap on the inside. It's like a little messenger strap so you can hang it here on these little pieces of the bag. This is pretty cheap feeling. Look how thin this strap is. It's very thin. Wow. Oh my girly pop. Why did I get a subway foot long bag to hold my six inch? What is going on here? It's very intense. What even is this? Is this a wetsuit? Waist snatching shorts? I've seen these around everywhere. They're all over Amazon. I mean, the entire Kardashians brand is this type of garment. They look like they'd be comfortable to wear to the gym. The shorts do seem very see-through. The waistband feels pretty thick. This is also supposed to make you sweat. So the material specifically on the inside is like an insulated sweat band. What is this? A skims dupe. So this is one of those really long body con. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh. I literally thought that it was like this big and I nearly just fainted. This is a bodysuit, like a romper. It's pretty comfy for the most part, but also I kind of just feel like I'm wearing like a wetsuit or like a leotard, like I'm gonna go do some gymnastics. Pretty cozy. The material is really soft, but it's very tight. The uterus pouch, she's out, she's hanging out. Another bag. Looks like a dupe for a designer bag. Gold hardware. Here is the shoulder strap in the back. So this is supposed to go like across your body. This one feels a lot higher quality than this brown bag here. The strap feels like it's gonna hold up. Let's check out the capacity. Yeah, so it's definitely a bigger bag. Has a little bit of storage in there, but not too much. I think that, that looks chic. This is where things get a little bit scary. So here is what comes in the set. You have shorts and a shirt. There are different color variants. I chose the only one that I liked, the pink one. Did I get like an extra large? What size did I get? No way. No way, honey. There's not even a tag in the shirt. There's no tag in this shirt. I'm scared. This is actually supposed to be a Victoria's Secret set. Excuse me. Squeeze me. So here we have the shirt. You can see it says pink. And I'll be really honest with you, I don't really like Victoria's Secret. Never have, probably never will. I don't shop at Victoria's Secret. So I don't have much to go off of. I just know that this is definitely not really from Victoria's Secret because there are no tags on this shirt at all. It just feels like one of those kind of like sports wholesale shirts that you can throw anything on. It doesn't feel too cheap, but it definitely feels like that could come off over time. The shorts look comfortable. They're just like black solid biker shorts and then they say pink on the leg here this is for all of my studio Ghibli lovers they did have some Ghibli stuff on Timu I got this particular bag it comes in a few different color variants there's like a white fluffy version and like a darker blue version I got this corduroy brown I was loving like the cottage core vibe it is so cute it's just this little corduroy sack burlap sack potato sack heaven ass it also has this little strap right here on the bag you can put some keychains on there if you'd like this overall is really cute I really like this and it feels actually really well made some safety tools so this is a little kit. This is going to be part of the giveaway because I want to give back to you guys and help keep you safe. I am going to open it though because I want to see what is inside and I want to check the overall quality of the materials. So allow me to be your QA agent today. We're going to put this bitch through some quality assurance. I will keep this packaging though because I will wrap it back up. It does come in this cute box. I mean, presentation is definitely there. I'm gonna keep this so I can wrap it all back up for you guys, but I want to check this out. So let's see what is inside. Ta-da! First thing in the safety kit is one of these little alarms. Press the button, it'll make a really loud noise. It comes with a little keychain. Here we have a little kitty cat pom-pom. Comes on like a gold keychain. A bottle opener, a whistle, a strap so that you can put all of your safety keychain items on it. A little attachment where you can stick a chapstick in there. Some scissors or anything really that's tiny enough to fit into this little pouch here. Door opener so you can put your finger through 
through this hole, use the little hook to open up the doors. It does look like it's a window breaker so that, you know, if you get trapped in your car, you can break out the windows or if someone else is trapped in your car, a pet, family member, someone's trapped in someone else's car, scary things go on so you can break the windows. And the last thing in the kit is this hand sanitizer. So you will have to fill the hand sanitizer up. You can put whatever hand sanitizer you prefer in there. In the kit, hand sanitizer, window breaker slash door opener, a safety siren, a chapstick lip gloss holster for whatever you might want to put in there, a strap to hold all of your accessories, a bottle opener, the whistle, the cherry on the cake, the little kitty cat pom-pom. You will get all of these items in this safety kit, but I don't want to give it all away until the end, so be sure that you keep on watching to see what the full giveaway prize is. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this little baby back up, and let's keep going on with the haul. I just thought that these were cute and really practical. Faux leather pouch with a little wrist strap on the top. Not too large of a capacity, but definitely enough to store things. And this one is kind of like a mauve. This reminds me of like Daphne's boots. A strap, and then you can unzip that. And there is the pouch. I thought that these were cute as a set, so you can toss these both into your bag and just have a few different pouches. This is actually something that I was in need of right now in the market for. And if you go to like Target to look for ice cube trays, those bitches are like $20. Who do you think that you are? I will craft an ice cube in my hand overnight before I pay $20 for an ice cube tray. So these are little ice cube trays, many different color variants, but I got like this salmon pink. You just open up the top and it makes little like spherical ice cubes, which I thought were so satisfying. I mean, look at that, look at that. It's a little tiny cube ice cube spherical ice cube. It looks like a Pokeball. I got a bigger one and then I also got a smaller version of this so it makes tinier little spherical ice cubes. Is it even an ice cube if it's a sphere? An ice circle? Ice sphere cube tray for your bevies. Put it in the freezer overnight and you have your little ice cubes. Again with the big bags. What is the need for this? We need like tinier bags. We need a tier system. Little bag, medium sized bag, almost to big bag, big bag, gigantic bag. We need a tier system. This is a little unnecessary. What are we getting into today? Now this, I believe, is a skims dupe for those long ass dresses that just really Suck it all in. A solid tank at the top. Now this does look really comfortable for summertime. It actually is kind of a really breathable fabric. Definitely looks comfortable and like the kind of dress I want to be wearing around right now since summer is around the corner. It definitely fits. Feels like a little bit see-through. And then I added a waist belt to it. It's really long. It goes all the way down to my feet, but it fits. <laughs> I'm feeling it. The material feels really swimsuity. Gymnastics leotard. It makes me look like I have absolutely no boobs. I don't know where the dress is sending my boobs, but they're gone, they're elsewhere because it looks like I have none. Flashback to my prebubescent self. Yeah. That'll work. Also, it's so tight. You have to legit wear no underwear. You have to like legit evict your underwear because even like a thong, I feel like I can see it being balled up right here on the sides. So unless you're all right with like going commando, you probably won't want to wear this dress. Definitely cannot wear the full booty underwear with these. You would just see all of the lines, all of them. Nothing left unseen to the eye. What will we be getting into next? <laughs> Another big bag. All right. Is this a washcloth, a headband? What is this? Girl, what is this? Oh no. I think this is a tube top. This is very small, so I guess it really is a true tube top. I'm sure that's gonna fit fine. I don't really think we need to go through it and see if it's gonna fit. It's just a fucking tube top. Next. She's empty. <laughs> A jumper. It's very loud. That's coming from me. It's definitely not something that I would like ever buy. I'm trying to venture out and just like try new shit. So here we are. Mmm. 
It looks a little bit like a tablecloth. It feels a little bit like a tablecloth. It's a halter top, okay. It goes down into, oh my heavens, that is very see-through. The buns, the nips, the Vigigi 9. It's all gonna be out in the public spaces. But here it is. It's got a little bit of a cinched waist moment and the bottoms are extremely flared. So they're like a bell bottom, huge bell bottom. This seems very modest, but also cute and like trendy. The girlies will be covered up. I will be wearing some Spanx nude underneath to keep the undies from showing, but this looks cute. I am so obsessed with this. I did not think that I was going to like this. I just wanted to try something different. I was kind of feeling the pattern. It's got a cute little like halter in the back, but you do still have to zip it all the way up. The legs, oh my gosh, look at, they're so flared at the bottom. It's so cute. Like if you wore these with some platforms, even with this hat and like the wig right now, this is a look. This is a look. A little bit loose in the breastuses department. Not too much though. If it was a little bit tighter, I would probably be uncomfortable. I will say it's a little see-through. Probably still have to wear like a little slip underneath unless you don't care. Let me move my trusty dusty stool so I can show you the bottoms. Hopefully I don't fall flat on my ass. Look at the legs. Oh my gosh. I wish I could show you in like full detail how these just fall so perfectly. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <sighs> 10 out of 10. I will take three more. I wasn't really feeling any of the other color variants, but I might just have to get another color because this, honey, thoroughly obsessed. It looks like a piece of floss. This is a ring sizer. I constantly am looking at rings to buy online. And the problem is that I don't know what size I wear in a ring. I've sized it before and I lose the information. Put it together, put your finger through it, pull this tight. That's clearly not my size. So let's uh, let's um, reel it in, sis. So comfortably around my finger is like right there. What size is it? A seven. So there you have it. Cute little layered set of jewelry. It's a golden set. It does come with three so it's like a little stack it comes with a cross little tiny link and then we have kind of like a medium-sized golden link cute little stack for the holy girls out there yes i'm very excited somebody's at my door one one second i need to check that hello can i help you sorry i'm sorry who are you oh hmm right right okay yeah thanks have a great one so that was the giveaway police. They just told me that you're probably wondering what the heck is the giveaway prize? Let's go ahead and get right into the giveaway details. If you're still here, you wanna win the prize and I wanna give it to you. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and then go ahead and spam those comments. Leave me as many comments as you would like. Every comment that you leave counts as one additional entry into the giveaway. So increases your chances of winning. I do require that they are legitimate. Don't just spam the comments with a bunch of illegitimate shit like letters and random weird links and things that are gonna get you flagged as a bot. Just put a little bit of effort into those comments. Tell me some things that you like, your favorite foods, favorite music artist, dream vacation destination. Share with me some random bits of information. It doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're not gonna get flagged as a bot for your bot comments. I will be giving away eight items that will be going to one lucky winner. The first item of the giveaway is going to be Victoria's Secret set. So you will get the biker shorts, the matching shirt, safety kit. This has all of the necessary self-defense tools in a super cute pastel pink color. So you will be getting the full set, the two crocodile pouches, little storage bags. They do match the Victoria's Secret set, which I thought was cute. The gold cross jewelry stack so it comes with three necklaces a cross necklace and two links so that you can stack or wear them individually if you prefer and last but not least to top everything off you will be getting this cute little convertible backpack another one of those little like Louis or coach dupes you get the little mini backpack as well as the messenger strap that comes with it so you will be all set for this summer you got your mini backpack self-defense kit 
two storage pouches and your Victoria's Secret lounge set. On top of all of the giveaway prize items, I will also be dropping in a handwritten note. If you want to win the mega prize, be sure to follow all of the rules for entry. Be sure to stay tuned and good luck. That is the end of this Timu bestsellers haul. What do you think? I think some of these definitely live up to being a best-selling item. Others just don't. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!